Hey guys, DMike here, and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Odyssey. Now officially in the post game. Spent a little bit of time in the Mushroom Kingdom. Found out that it's not quite as simple as finding the moons as I thought that it was going to be. And instead of dilly dallying there anymore, I'm going to go back to the Cap Kingdom. We're going to start from our humble beginnings. And we're going to trace our way all the way back through each of these beautiful, wonderful places. If you like traveling around the world, if you like hanging out with Mario and me, of course, consider liking the video, commenting, and subscribing. Let's get started. Let's go. Let's go. So you're going to have to do this eventually. Um, I also forgot to change back into normal Mario. Oops, that's okay. Still looks relatively the same. You are... Like I was just about to say, gonna have to do this eventually anyway. Our end goal, our current goal is 250 moons, which we're very close to. Our end goal though is 500. I believe there's 999. But you know who's not doing that? Me, because that sounds miserable. So instead, we're gonna go for the 500. Hi Cappy, what do you gotta say for us? Oh. It's like me after I've had too much Taco Bell. Okay. And we're back to this music again, which actually makes me really excited. Um, I think the Cap Kingdom, to start, this game came out, I believe, in October of 2017, maybe? And I don't know. It just feels... Like they, like they really did a nice job kind of creating this kind of whimsical, magical, um, like Harry Potter kind of vibe, like spooky season kind of vibe. Also, as you can see now, um, there are coins here. So actually, you know, let's check out the Cap Kingdom. Have we seen this? Bonneton, a land of haberdash dreams. Population is middling. The size is smallish. Locals are bonneters. Currency is hat shaped. Industry is hats and airships. It's a pretty decent tent. Extremely mobile homes with the world's best hat stand. Let you read that if you want. Posts that stand out. These wooden posts are used as partitions or stoppers. If they get in your way, you can pound them down, but pulling them out, pulling out is always recommended, of course. All right. And a spectacle of a bridge. Old fashioned lighting. And of course, the sometimes bridge. I don't know. Okay, anyway. Three keys to this kingdom. Appreciate appreciate the distinctive architectural style based on the hat silhouettes. Enjoy the romantic glow of the moonlit fog shrouded streets. Chat with the kind and ever courteous monitors. I don't know if I would consider this area having streets. But whatever. Um but yeah, we can do a lot here now. This is kind of where the game opens up and you choose your own adventure. Uh, sure. Great. Um, yeah, you make of this what you will. The game most certainly is you to decide whatever you want to do. There is no set path, which is kind of fun, but also a little alarming because if you're not good at exploring, then this will obviously probably become a problem for you. We have frogs over here. I think I actually want to grab one of them. Come here, boy. Hop in the pond. Splish splash, baby. Get some of these coins. I'm not entirely sure. Okay. Guess you can't get any lower than that. Um, looks like there's a ooh, little secret over here. Yeah. We're gonna do our best to, that was a very, that scared me. Um, we're gonna do our best here to explore and collect more moons. Like I said, 500 is the goal. Okay. Let's see if I can jump on top of these boys. Yeah, oh. Okay. I think you saw what I was going for there. But yeah, once again, uh, just gonna try to get as many moons as I can. Probably gonna do about two episodes per kingdom, like I did before. And hopefully I'll be able to gather 
I mean, if we're doing the math here, if we're doing the math here, um, not counting the other sides of the moon that we're going to be trying to explore, I think that we're going to need to probably get about like 20-ish moons per kingdom, maybe a little more than that, which seems, you know, that's feasible, I think. I mean, for a good Let's Player. Whoop. Whoop. All right. Okay, not trying to hop over this. There's no benefit to that. There's got to be something up here. Why would they put... Come on. Come on, Frog Mario. Channel, channel your inner Mario 3. There it is. I knew there was something up here. This is very precarious. Okay. Ooh. I see you, baby. Oh, how do you like that? How do you like that? Okay, so that's the first. Can I get back there from here or is this just suicide? Oh, that was awesome. Viewers, that was clutch. Speedrunning strat. You're welcome. Luigi is here though, actually. I do want to keep utilizing these frogs. There's a, clearly a moon right there. Um, I'm gonna see what Luigi has to say. I need to make some haste here. Thanks. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think you get... No. I don't think you get um, moons for that. And as such, here at D-Mike Industries, we do not care about things that don't give us uh, benefits. Especially when we're with our friends. With our friends giving us benefits. Okay, here we go. Climb up here real quick. Grab some more of these coins. There should be crazy cap, uh... There should be crazy cap stores. There's one right there out in the open. Everything opens up, obviously. Okay, um... I don't know. Can I grab that from up here? Oops, sorry, Mr. Frog. Richard would be so upset with me right now. That's a deep cut. How do I do the... The bonus jump, like the super high frog jump. I have to. How would do this? Uh... Am I doing this wrong? Shake the control. There it is. I was gonna say, wait a second. Hit me with the. Uh... Hit me with the. Th the th I don't know what I'm saying. All right, great. That's two. I don't believe that we have. enough coins yet to get the cap kingdom outfit slash I mean we can we can buy the the bonus coin of course but bonus moon wow who knew that when you're in the uh post game that you just kind of lose all sense of like being able to speak all right there are goombas that fly around as well as you can see i don't know if we captured a goomba that flew uh, previously, but we actually, you know what? I am kind of dilly dallying about it. I need to grab one soon. Hello. Hello. All right. Probably not a Goomba in these crates, so I don't know why that's caught my interest. My attention is at a deficit right now. Okay. I just want to find a Goomba with wings. There it is. I think this is the closest one. Whoop. Nope. And whoop. nope. Okay, let's try to fly in from here. Whee! There we go. Perfect. Okay. Sir or madam, can I borrow you? Thanks. All right. Shake your controller, your pro controller. Shake it to fly. I can't even see. To fly faster. Now we're headed to the bacon here. Now, we learned about these a little bit previously in the game. These are kind of the set piece that the game was teasing us with. These are sky, uh, sky view blocks from Skyward Sword, of course. We don't have our... We don't have Fee to help us out. But yes, this is a gimmick. We have now unlocked Sauron from Lord of the Rings. So there you go. 
basically what this does is uh, unleashes a whole wealth of power moons that you can get now. That previously didn't exist. So this is just a way to... Make more moons happen? Should make our quest to, gra to gather. Should make our quest to gather a bunch of them a lot easier now. No? There we go. So that's ideal. So far, so good. Three and ten minutes is not great, but... You know. Viewers, I'm doing my best for you, okay? Like, give me a break. Alright, so I'm gonna grab more of these... Top hat coins, I cannot see. The game is doing a wonderful job of just making it absolutely impossible to tell what I'm doing. Alright, that's back-to-back -back moons, though. So, there you go. Now, I don't know if all of these are moons that were just recently birthed due to... me, uh... hitting that block or not. I don't know. So, that's up for you to decide. And by decide, I mean know more about this game than I do. So, if you know about that, then you can tell me, I guess. But overall, it doesn't matter when they occurred because you can still get them at any point. I mean, the old ones I'm referring to, the old moons. Any of the, any of the new moons, <laughs> um... That is probably the ones that you're seeing now that were added because of the block, but I don't know the difference. But that was three moons in like 30 seconds, so that's pretty heckin' good, right? Uh, I think I saw one. Thanks, Cappy. Yeah, so that's Cappy basically telling you uh, the threshold is 250. You can get that from any combination. Of moons from any kingdom. Hearing the <laughs> hearing the do 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 it I, I've watched a speedrun of this game obviously where the goal not all of it because that would be absurd. Um the speedrun goal of it was to get I think all of the moons, maybe. And uh Yeah, I um I watched someone over the course I, I think like the goal was like it was like a six hour speed run or something to get all 999 of them I watched it I kind of scrubbed through it like a scrub and I heard that sound a lot so I don't know if you could have figured this out viewers but I didn't love that okay I don't know if the buying 10 does that does that reset or like how many? I don't know. That feels kind of like cheating. I don't want to do that. Ooh, yes. This is what I do want. Change now. Heck yeah, I am. I do want to wear the requisite outfit for every kingdom, of course. Oh, I'm looking by the frog. Yeah, I'm not going to do that, uh. I'm not gonna do... Where'd the music go? There it is. I'm not gonna do... Man, I cannot talk. I'm not gonna buy the 10 moons at a time. I'm not gonna do that. Are we Santa? Oh yes, it's the music from the bounding bowl. Yes. What is this? Was this in the game before? I don't know, but I love it. Oh, there's a moon over there! Strategic suicide! This is cute. I didn't know this was in here. Yeah, my goal is probably just to get like... I don't know. 10, 12 moons per episode? I think that's fair. This kind of feels like the... Uh... Ooh, this is kind of hard to control. Um... Like when you're jumping on the ball in Mario Galaxy 2 and you have to control that as the... I mean, it's not quite as bad as that. The controls of that were horrible because I was using a Wiimote. 
This is obviously not that bad. Why would you ever go left? Because if you need coins and if you feel like you're a BA, Bachelor of Arts. Okay, that's a quick two moons. Yeah, that was neat. I, uh... I don't remi remember. I don't remember that being here. Yeah, once again, though. The, some of this might be new. Some of this might be previously existing. Oh, there's Peach. Hey, baby girl, what are you doing? Look at you looking fly in that beret and that peacoat. I love a good peacoat. I always mocked people because I thought that they were like, oh, you're so fancy in your peacoat. And then I realized um, they look fly and they're super comfortable and they also keep you really, really warm. So, her name's Tiara. That's hilarious because that's a real name and a thing. Oh, thanks, Peach. Yes. Yeah, I feel like you start to kind of get these in bunches. Yeah, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so those are in groups of ten. If dinosaurs enjoy basking in the sun... I don't know, Peach. Why don't you go figure that out for yourself? Okay, so far so good. I'm going to try to stick around to the moons that are in this initial area first. Ooh, look at you. Wait, 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 wait. You got something for me? Can I have this? Okay, so you probably need a pair of Goomba. This boy's being a selfish jerk. What's in here? Okay, more coins that I don't care about. Once I get the collectible outfit, my enthusiasm is uh, gone. Okay, you get this key. Cannot move yet. Whoop. Why wouldn't you just long jump to it? Yeah, why would you why would you do that any other way? Oh, probably cuz this. <laughs> I mean, that wasn't my fault. I was trapped. It's strong to take you on. All right. This looks like a uh is this a moon or did I already get this? And this is just Goombas. Okay. That's the one downside to this. There is a, um, I think there's a checklist. Like I almost guarantee there is, there has to be. Uh, there's a checklist that you can follow to track all of your moons. But once again, viewers, let's be real here. Uh, you know me and you know that I'm not down with doing that. So I don't care about it to that level. I'm not going to shortchange you like I said, uh, the goal here for the remainder of this Let's Play will be 500 moons. Uh, potentially more or less, depending upon if I do... Well, not less, because I won't be able to progress. But um, depending upon how many I uh, I find, my, my goal is just to get the 500 to unlock the moon we've already unlocked part of the moon so to unlock the full moon ooh, yours you need the 500 and we're gonna do that i'm gonna do that for you because i care all right i know i know here's the thing modern let's playing and cosplaying and uh playing with yourself whatever people don't go all the way people don't give a full e people don't give a full effort and I think that is so disrespectful to the people consuming your content. You guys deserve the best. So I am gonna do that for you. I'm gonna give you everything I possibly can. And you're gonna see as much as I possibly can figure out, all the possibilities that I possibly can possibly figure out within the realm of possibility. All right. I don't like being the frog. Okay, all right, there's this chip over there. I'm just trying to cheese this. Great. I do like the jumping though. The jumping is fun. It's just a little bit unpredictable. You're unpredictable. All right. Zoop. Okay, that's not even close. We're getting near the end of this episode, but I mean, I got, I got 11 moons so far. Hopefully, by the end of this 
a little challenge. I'll have 12. So I will finish this. I will I will bring this to completion. What is the point of it? There's a moon up there. Oh, I see. Oh, I see. That's a deep cut from Disney's Tarzan. If you haven't seen that, get on it. All right, this is not going swimmingly. Although I do like how they give you so many frogs. There's frogs everywhere. Has anybody eaten a frog? Like, you don't, I guess like frog legs? Is that a thing? Right? Anybody eating frog legs? Is that good? I know I've seen them at a nice uh, establishment, like a Chinese restaurant. Ooh, there it is, it's in there. Now, I've been criticized for this by some people in my life, but I grew up with a pretty bland diet. Not by choice. Uh, my mom and my dad are, um, how do you say boring? And so I didn't really have a lot of options as a child, as I'm sure many of you growing up in not wealthy America dealt with, I'm sure you can understand that. Uh, but in general, yeah, it's like, I didn't try this stuff. And like, I'm not against trying it, but the only downside is like my body is conditioned, I guess, to eat certain things that I'm used to. And so, you know, I've gone on trips through my uh, job, which is fun. And I've tried new things there on trips. It can be a little scary. There we go. Well, that did not work us too much, actually. Too much juice. Two moons. Secrets of the Frog Pond, you're welcome. Boop. That's 13 moons, and we still have a little bit of time left. Let's get the H out of here. See if we can maybe get to 15 before the day is done. Hmm. I'm only going to, like I said, man, Mario looks so fly in that outfit. I'm only going to do the moons that are uh, in this little section first. And then when I become satisfied with that, I will move to, can I go higher than this? How do I get a Paragoomba onto that platform? Because I feel like the game kind of railroads you here on purpose. Already done this. Where is there an area that is low enough Brum, bum, bum, that you can go and be a Paragoomba and scare that Bonneton guy. Is that Peach again? Does this work? Maybe this will work. Here it is, Paragoomba landing. Oh wait, can I not? Oh wait, Jack barely lets you up there. Look at me, look at me. <laughs> I'm flying. Not really, I'm walking right now, but you know. Hey, look at me. Hi guys, that's me on the bonnet thing. Oh, I love it so much. <laughs> oh, come on. How could you not like this? I want this thing to go away for a reason. You can never understand why. All right, I got a frame in there. <laughs> yes, it worked. The terror of Paragoombas. All right, now I need you to get out of the way before he comes back. Ha <laughs> ha. We're just stealing your stuff. Okay. I don't, yeah, I don't know what order any of this is in. Or if like I'm doing this correctly or not. Hello? What's up, bird? The forgotten treasure? Wow, what a crappy hint. All right, do I have time to get one more? Grab this coin. I mean, I'm feeling pretty satisfied with that. I got 14. My first go around. No cheating. I do love the little markers that are all around. They're like, you can't go past this. Oh, did I catch this rabbit last time? Was there a rabbit last time? Oh, I'm gonna finish it up by Killing wildlife. Oh, Mario's so fast. I feel, yeah, I, I feel like there was, that's how we started this, wasn't it? It was a dumb rabbit. Come here, I'm hungry for cereal. Ugh, thought I had him. 
My cat throws are not very accurate. I don't like that. Yeah, you little jerk. There we go. That'll be the final moon of the day. Yeah, I feel good about that. That's 15. Okay. Yeah, I think we'll... I think we can vibe with that. And, uh... Yeah. The next time... We can grab more, obviously. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Super Mario Odyssey, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.